how ghosts of Tsushima destroyed my life. Before I played Ghosts of Tsushima, the only interest I had in Samurai was occasionally watching The Last Samurai and thinking, Katana look cool. Then I played Ghost of Tsushima and it kinda was like a beginner's drug. The game was an absolute vibe and made me want to learn more. I instantly bought a cheap katana, a few books about samurai culture, history. The game also made me more open to Japanese media and made me a weeb. That was back in 2020. After this, followed a chain of financially questionable decisions. The first major one being this Wakizashi signed Echi no Kami Kani Kuni from the Enkyo era, 1744 to 1748. Fucking sick. Look at it. This was the first step into being chronically broke. I really like the look of the Sakai armor in the highest upgrade, though the scales were a bit too much for me. So I commissioned armor that kinda looked like it without the scales. Oh, fucking sick! Sick! It's fucking sick! After a while, reproduction katana just weren't doing it for me anymore. So I wanted more Nihonto, like the Wakizashi. Sick! Fucking sick! You see this? After a while of collecting various other swords, figures, and books, I decided to decorate my man cave. All these poor financial decisions only happened because I played Ghost of Sushima. This is why I am in love, hate, relation, ship to that game. Its vibe simply was too good. In the morning, we ride. <laughs> fucking sick. Oh, it's fucking sick.